Well, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Crochet and Coffee here. And today we have a coloring book flip through. So today I was sent a book by the lovely Alina Lazariva. So thank you, Alina, for sending this out to me. I do greatly appreciate it. She wanted me to be able to show you guys one of another one of her books, which is called Fashion Life. Now you guys already know Miss Coffee loves drawing clothes or coloring clothes. If you didn't know, Miss Coffee loves coloring clothes. So this book was right up my alley and it's a grayscale. Yes. So let's take a look to see what is in this book. It says Fashion Life. It's a grayscale. Includes two full sets of 23 amazing illustrations, 10 bonus from Alina Lazariva, other coloring books. So you, you get a little bit of everything in here. You get a little bit of everything in here. So let's take it out. Yes, night on the town. Let's find an outfit. So we have this young lady here who is standing next to, which actually kind of looks like Alina. I'm not going to lie. The lady looks like Alina. If you've ever, if you've never seen her, she is on Instagram. Um, I will have all her information linked down in the bottom of the, or down in the description box below. So she has a YouTube channel. She has an Instagram. She has a Facebook group, like the work. She also sells diamond paintings, if you don't remember. Um, so yeah, so let's, let's, let's get back to it. So she's, looks like she's going for a night out in the town. Looks like she's going dress shopping, shoes on fleek. Look at, look at the back of her heels, like. Nobody is messing with this chick today, okay? Like, you will get roundhoused right in the throat with those heels. Yes, good. Yes, yes. Yes, the elegance. So we have this beautiful woman here with her dress that flows, the, the long train coming off her dress. She's looking off into the distance. Look like she lives in some kind of a castle. Got the little flowers over here. She's living the high life. Y'all, those hips, though. The beans and rice didn't miss her, for real. So, yes, I love her hair. Like, Lena, how do you get her, her hair to do that? She has some of the most beautiful women in her, her illustration, so I absolutely loved it. Love this. Now, if you know what these flowers are, I don't think they're roses. But if you know what these flowers are, write them down in the comment section. So she has the beautiful flowers all around her, so that she has them behind her head covering her eye and then she has this beautiful little design on her eye so yes and then of course she has her hair long like wavy hair i guess that would be considered wavy not curly then we have this beautiful woman here what is this kind of hat this is a, I, i've seen people wear this hat but usually i only see people wear this hat when they go to church but what kind of hat is this somebody write that down in the comment section and then she looks like she has an off-the-shoulder dress with this little intricate little uh, brooch on the side of it. Hair swooped. Yes. The, her books are really good if you want to practice skin tone with color pencil. Um, they The book, the pages are one-sided, but they are like, it almost feels like printer paper. So you're not going to want to do, like if you do a uh, marker in this book, you're going to want to make sure you put something underneath the page that you're coloring not, so that it won't bleed out. Um, but these books are better used for color pencils, in my opinion. In my opinion, you use what you want, okay? But in my opinion, these books are good for color pencils. And especially if you want to practice skin tones, Alina Lazariva's books are going to be the ones you're on want to get. Yes. And then I love how she does this. I love how her books aren't just focused on, like, essentially they're one theme, but you get numerous things in that theme. So you have the nail polish and the little flowers here. And then it's painting her nail. Like, if that was only true, like, if you could just put your hand out and, like, a nail polish would just paint itself on your nails, that would be the life I would want to live. Yes. So we got different, you can color those nail polishes all different colors. And then she has the two hands here. Oh, you guys, now you already know. One, love her shoes. Look look at the shoes. Look at, no, you got, yeah, there you go, focus. It looks like it has like a little flower coming off them. It has like this little lace detail with the nice heel on them. And then the skirt, this ruffled uh, skirt for the top. of, And her shoes actually match her shirt. Or I guess her, it would be her top. Her The top to her dress actually matches where the bottom of her shoe is. So that's really cool. And then of course, the skirt to the dress looks like the flower on her head. Yes. And is that a hat or did she just put a flower on her head? Asking for a friend. Love that image. Oh, I love it when she does these. 
So you guys, if you ever want to practice eyes, uh, sh coloring, shading, what shades to make your eyes, Alina Lazariva, boom, she got you. So we have plain eyes here with just a plain eyebrows. You can c practice coloring the skin tone and the eyes around there. Then you have this one here with the jewel in the middle of the forehead and then the little flower around the eyes. And then you have this one here with the little rhinestones around the eyes with the flower detail. Yes! It always feels like somebody's watching me. Sorry, sorry. Again, the, the yeah, you, you get it, you get it. And then we have this young lady here. I've seen her in a couple of other books. She is still waiting for that bartender to bring her a drink. She don't realize the drink is right there. Love, love, love the tulips here on the side. And then this bar is like a granite, looks like. Maybe like a sponge type of material. Got to catch all those spilled drinks, you know what I mean? And then you have the wine glasses hanging from the top here. I love those boots. Like, she has some of the, like, funkiest looking boots in this book. Not funky in the bad way. Like, funky in a good way. Like, I would fear stabbing myself in the leg with that part of the boot. Uh-oh. Yes, mama, give it to us. Yes. So we have this elegant mamma jamma right here. She has a big bow up front with the flowing uh, tails. And then she just has, it looks like it possibly an off the shoulder dress. And it looks like the ribbon is the shoulder part. Looks like it. I could be wrong. And then it's just a, a form fitting dress with a hat with a little flower on it. Had little curly hairs like curled up underneath there. And she has like this cute little earring on. Nose and lips out. You can practice um, lipstick. Yes. Ooh. Let's practice shoes, people. All right. So you got the different types of high heels here. We got going out on a, on a night on the town. Some elegant, like, going out to dinner with friends. Then you're going back out on the town. And, you know, this is just a dressy, like, spring shoe. You can just, you know, wear this if you're meeting a group of friends to go do some things around town, you know? Plus, it's not as high as the other ones. Like, it's a little thicker heel. That's going to be the one you're going to be walking around for a while. That's the one you're going to want to wear right there. Uh-oh. Let's practice makeup, y'all. Yes. So if you're like me and have no clue how to put makeup on someone, boom. Again, I'm pretty sure somebody told me what these beads were. I don't remember. So if you remember, put it down in the comment section below. Miss Coffee is makeup dumb, okay? I don't own makeup. I don't wear makeup. It's just not my thing. But other people I know do. So y'all tell me what these beads are. I was thinking maybe she was having a snack while she was putting her makeup on. I don't know. I know this is for your eyes and then this is for your cheeks. I have no clue. Lip gloss. I'm going to guess that's for your, uh, the lids of your eyelids. The, the lids of your eyelids. Your eyelids. Have no clue. Cheeks, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. But you can also practice skin tone. You can practice her makeup. She's like the, the ultimate Barbie girl right there. Oh, snap. Alina, yeah! Love this. Love this. Love the form-fitting dress. Love the long form-fitting dress. She's not looking at the camera or anything, so you don't have to practice, like, you know, what color to make her eyes or anything. Looks like she's at some kind of a party because she has, like, the dangling, possibly diamonds right there. Long form-fitting dress. Yes! Love her bracelet. Love the swooped-over hair look. Oh, snap. She is snatching wigs, y'all. I feel like they're going to the, the gala with all these dresses on. Like, she's standing next to the fireplace. Got, like, the little design on her shoe and on her dress. Nice little decorative vase on a table here. She has, like, this paper crane or something in her hair. Yes! Love the intricate detail of the fireplace and the fire. Like, that, that was a nice touch. Oh, snap. We got a girl in jeans. So this, again, this is called Fashion Life. So you can see all the fashions in this book, okay? So you got your chick in the jeans. I love the floral, the, the flowers on her jeans. I love the knee-high boots. Look at her little shopping bag. Got a smiley face on it now. She's. It looks like she's standing possibly outside in the fall. It could be fall because the leaves are falling off the trees. She just has on this jacket and shirt. And then her hair's down. Yes. Here's some more eyes you can practice. You can practice putting different uh, eye shadows on those eyes. You can practice the pupil of the eye. Ooh, I love this dress. So this dress looks like it V's open in the back. Nice bow right down in the uh, small of your back. And then it's a double layered skirt. And then, the, of course, of course, Alina Lazariva, she has to be dressing on point because these shoes match that dress. Can you see the little leaf 
of pattern here and it's the same leaf pattern on the skirt. Yes. And of course she has the hair barrette to match. Duh. Yes. And then this is the beautiful lady from the front of the cover. So you ready? You ready? Boom. Colored. Boom. Boom. Colored. Boom. <laughs> so she has the flowers all around her. And what I like to do, I'm not one to copy what the image itself looks like. What I like to do is do the complete opposite of what the, the illustrator did. So she here did green flowers and then green jewelry. It, it almost looks like my birthstone, to be honest, because my birthstone is a uh, paradox because I was born in August. So I would do like red flowers with red jewelry or like diamond jewelry with like baby blue flowers or something. Yes. You got to change it up, folks. Be creative. Be original. All right, and then we have this young lady here. She doesn't look too thrilled about the fact that she's standing next to this gorgeous dress that's just sitting here chilling. But she has on like this little mini skirt on, got her heels on, got her hair swooped to the side. Yes, got this layered dress with a long train. Looks kind of like a wedding dress. Maybe she got cold feet. We don't know. It, that's her business. <gasps> oh my God. Yes, 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 yes. Love the jacket dress. Love it. All of it. All do this, this, this gives me so much life right now. Love her boots and the little design on the boots. She has a clutch, short bob, cat glasses. Yes, love this. Sorry, I keep staring at it. Oh snap, we on sunglass shopping. So you gotta look at you gotta look for some new sunglasses. Boom, here you go. She got her pretty little dress on. I love this little detail here with the chain coming off onto her shoulder. Love the little intricate detail on the dress. This is like a regular dress. She has a clutch. Love her jewelry. But then when you have all these pairs of sunglasses. Now this would be fun to color because you can color those sunglasses any color you want. You got some uh, animal print here. They look like essentially they're all the same shape, which are like the cat eye glasses. Love that shape. Love. Doesn't look good on me because I have a fat face. But I still love, love, love the shape. Uh-oh, beach party. Yes. So this beach party here, we have the young lady with a... It's like a... It makes me think of Doritos. This makes me think of a Dorito pattern. And you got speakers for the music and then limes and coconuts. Yes, you put the lime and the coconut. And then you have the palm trees here. Love, love, love. Love her eye. Love her eyes. Uh-oh. We going down the runway, folks. We got this runway model here. She has a ruffle-type sleeve shirt with the bow on the sides. You got the stars, and she's walking down the runway. Love her baby doll shoes. Baby doll shoes are my absolute favorite. Can't wear them anymore. Mostly because I'm six foot tall. But other than that, yeah, you get it. You get it. So we got this diva here. She's got on her dress. I love the fact that it's zippers. Like, it's a zipper dress. But that could also be to the, the lacy part of the dress. I'm not sure. I don't think so because she has puff sleeves. Yes. And then she has, like, the, the gloves where your fingers stick out. So you're, like, you can still, like, live your life but look cute doing it. Yes. Ooh. Okay, so we got to the bonus sheets. Eight of the finest grayscale pictures and two beautiful line art illustrations. Ooh, I love, I've colored this dress before. I butchered it really bad, but I still colored it though. That's all that matters. Here we go with this chick on the vanity again. There is a chair right there. Why are you up there? So we have this one here where she's sitting next to the perfume, looking into the mirror. It would have been cool if she had a reflection in the mirror. Maybe you can draw like a little stick figure in the mirror for her. Because at this point, she's probably scared because she ain't got no reflection. <laughs> and then you have her with her foot on the vanity's chair. You have this beautiful fairy here. I love the curly fro. Love the curly fro. Love, love, love the butterflies. Love her wings and all the detail in her wings. And this one comes from Amazing Coloring Book Grayscale by Alina Lazareva. And this is Fashion Coloring Book. Uh, that's Grayscale. Line Art. This one's from Fantasy World. And as you can see, there's a dragon up this way. And then this beautiful woman here that has like the dragon. She's like the mommy of the dragons. And then she has on a dress that has a floral leaf pattern on it. And then you can see the castles or the the buildings here on the side. Oh my god, looky. 
It's Easter, folks. It's getting on to the Easter season. You got to color the bunnies. This one also is from Fantasy World. It's just a little girl sitting with two bunnies. And she has some mushrooms and a butterfly flying around her head. Better than having flies flying around your head. I, I think I've colored this one. This is from her Halloween coloring book. Look at the two kitties. That, two, that cat still judging that butterfly. Still trying to get a hold of that butterfly. So then you have this little kitty cat here. This little kitty cat looks like it has a hat on. We have this one here from the fairies coloring book. And she has her wings. She has the uh, arm, uh, the arm, what are those called? Oh my gosh, you're yelling it at me. It's on the tip of my tongue. It, either way, she has little, little arm sleeves on. She's wearing a nice little long flowing dress. She has her wings. Her hair is curled and off to the side with the butterfly. She's becoming one with nature. Uh-oh. Walk like an Egyptian. We have this Egyptian goddess here. And she has like, what are, the, what are the Egyptian gods hats called? I don't know what they're called. Somebody leave that down in the comment section. And you can see, of course, the pyramids in the background. Victorian grayscale. The Victorian grayscale here. She has, of course, a Victorian dress on. Nice little uh, chair here with the little kitty cat in the chair and the curtain. I like the fact that she gives you a taste of what her other coloring books have so that if you choose to want to get one of her other coloring books, which she has a ton of them, I will link this one down in the comment section or in the uh, description box, not the comment section. Rainbow coloring book, line art. So you have this peacock sitting over here and it looks like the lady has on a fancy dress. It looks like she's belly dancing. Is she a belly dancer? Y'all, tell me she's belly dancing. Okay, I have so many questions. So many, so many questions. This one comes from her book, Mermaids. One, you're a mermaid. Why do you have an umbrella? Asking for myself. Two, love her fin. But what is she sitting on? She's just sitting there chilling. But it, why, why? You're supposed to get wet. You're a mermaid. And that is the end of the book. So if you like what you see here, check the description box below. I will have this book linked Again, a huge thank you to Ms. Lena, Alina Lazariva for sending this out for me to show you guys. I do greatly appreciate it. You'll probably be seeing me coloring in this real soon. But with that said, folks, I must now bid you adieu. But not before reminding you that if you're new to the channel and would like to see more random crazy videos just like this one, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified anytime I randomly decide to put up a video. And believe me, it's random. With that said, folks, I'm now going to have to bid you adieu. But not before reminding you, like I always try to. Be kind. Be courteous. Be cool. Bye, guys.